Hi, Jeff from the Cast Bullet Association again. Let's talk a little bit about sprue plates and the appropriate adjustment of them and lubrication. So here we've got a nice little single cavity brass mould. And <clears throat> the sprue plate needs to be a snug fit against the top of the mould, but not super tight. And the adjustments for it are a lock screw on the side there, in which this little Allen wrench goes into and unlocks it. So that, the purpose of that is to lock the main screw that holds the plate on. When you're adjusting anything, you loosen this one off first, and then you can adjust this one, left or right, loose or tight, depending on what you need to go. With this particular mould, I've got it set up at the moment, and it just takes a very minimal amount to open and close the sprue, and that's perfect there. And if we hold it up to the light and look through this way, there should be no light showing. And sometimes the sprue plate may need to be removed and polished on a flat surface on a bit of uh, abrasive cloth, because there may be maybe high spots or low spots on here. So that's something that's worth looking at as well. Once you've got your tension set with the main screw here, then you tighten this one back up and it'll stay in place. Now something that's overlooked by a lot of people is putting a little bit of lubrication on. And uh, Al at NOE is good enough to send out these little bottles of sprue paint lube. And it's synthetic two-stroke oil. And the good thing about synthetic two-stroke oil is that it's designed for very high temperatures. And lo and behold, what do moulds operate at? Fairly high temperatures. The thing is, less is more. So you just use a smearing of it, just a tiny little amount, and being extremely careful not to get it into the cavities. So I open the sprue plate, I've got a cloth with some on, and I just give the back of the sprue plate a good wipe, like that, and then the top of the mould a rub as well, and that's enough. And sometimes a bit of a rub into where the, the uh, pore hole is helps the sprue come away. It also protects some rust. So there we've got our, um, our sprue plate all lubed up and adjusted correctly, ready to go. With the hollow point mould, it's good to give our pin a bit of a wipe around the base here. Not necessarily the tip because it won't form well, but a bit around the top where it goes into the mould, and then around this collar a good wipe around there because this is where it engages. We slip it in like that. So it removes a degree of friction there. And the same on this. Bit of a rub. Sprue plate there. Open the sprue plate up. And a good rub on this side. And a bit of a touch on the top of the mould as well, and just lovely tension, just beautiful, and that's the way it should be. Hope that helps.